let's see a question from differential equation we need to solve this differential equation so let's start with the question what is the first step the first step is always to convert to find the complementary function and for that we need to convert this from d form to the m form so your auxiliary equation will be just replace d by m so you will get m square plus 6m plus 8 and then equate it to 0 if you uh, will find the root you can write this as m square plus 4m plus 2m plus 8 equals to 0 so this can be written as m if I take common m plus 4 and if I take 2 common this is m plus 4 so this is clearly m plus 4 times m plus 2 equals to 0 so from here we are getting two roots as m equals to minus 4 and m equals to minus 2 because they are real and distinct my complementary function will be c1 e power first root into x plus c2 e power second root into x this is your complementary function now we have to move ahead and find the particular integral what is that that is 1 upon f of d what is f of d that is d square plus 6d plus 8 and that will operate on entire RHS which is e power minus 2x into sin 2x now there is a rule for this if you have uh, this equation f of d into y equals to q and if q is e power ax into v where v is any function of x then uh, your particular integral is 1 upon f of d that will operate on q and q is basically e power ax into v so i am writing it that way only so that it is more clear to you so e power ax into v now what we will do we will take this e power ax out of the operator 1 upon f of now replace d by d plus a and now this will operate on v so this will only operate on v not on e power x because e power ax is odd sign so we will use the same here okay so i can take e power minus 2x out uh, i will have to replace this d by d plus a that is d minus 2 here because a is minus 2 so d minus 2 whole square plus 6 times d minus 2 plus 8 okay now e power 2x is outside this will operate only on sin 2x now fine so this is e power minus 2x we will have to simplify this this is d square plus 4 minus 4d is there plus 6d is there minus 12 plus 8 is there and this complete is operating on sin 2x So this is e power minus 2x 1 upon this is d square 6 minus 4 is 2d 
फोर माइनस ट्वेल्व इज माइनस एट प्लस एट दैट इज जीरो दिस विल ऑपरेट ऑन साइन टू एक्स नाउ वट इज द रूल फॉर साइन एक्स वी सी दिस नंबर दिस इज टू वी मेक इट्स स्क्वायर टू स्क्वायर विच इज फोर नाउ रिप्लेस दिस डी स्क्वायर बाय माइनस ऑफ ए स्क्वायर दैट इज माइनस ऑफ फोर सो दिस विल बी ई पावर माइनस टू एक्स वन अपॉन माइनस फोर प्लस टू डी and this will operate on sin 2x okay now i can take two common so i will get if i take two common from denominator i will get e power minus 2x divided by 2 and i am getting 1 upon d minus 2 and this is operating on sin 2x now in the same step what i can do is because i am not getting d square but i want d square okay so what i will do is multiply by d plus 2 in numerator and denominator so if i multiply by d plus 2 this is sin 2x now my denominator will become d square minus 4 so let's move ahead e power minus 2x by 2 i am finding my particular integral so that is e power minus 2x by 2 i have uh, d plus 2 i think in numerator and d square minus 4 and this entire thing is operating on sin 2x again a square is minus 4 if i put minus 4 here minus 4 minus 4 minus 8 will be there so particular integral is e power minus 2x and that minus 8 if i multiply with this 2 so this will be minus 16 now d plus 2 will operate on sin 2x okay so this is your particular integral which is e power minus 2x divided by minus i can take up 16 now d of sin 2x derivative of sin 2x will be derivative of sin 2x is cos 2x into derivative of cos 2x which is 2 and plus 2 times of sin 2x will be there okay now i am getting 2 2 so 2 from here 2 from here but that doesn't makes impact i can take this 2 out so particular integral is minus e power minus 2x divided by 16 but 1 2 is there so divided by 8 will be there and inside i will get cos 2x plus sin 2x so this is your particular integral final answer will be my cf plus pi what was my cf it was e c1 e power minus 4 and minus 2 so that was c1 e power minus 4x plus c2 e power minus 2x plus the pi which is minus of e power minus 2x divided by 8 and inside i have cos 2x plus sin 2x so this is my final answer which is y equals to c1 e power minus 4x plus c2 e power minus 2x minus e power minus 2x by 8 cos 2x plus sin 2x i hope you learned something from this video first step was to find auxiliary equation then the complementary function then we find the particular integral first using this property and then using the property for sin ax final solution was anyway going to be y equals to cf plus pi i hope you enjoyed the video thanks and have a very nice day